Hello everyone, this is Legion of Guy here, here with a premature haul video, I'd say. Like, I didn't expect to be having so many books before the weekly shipment of the ongoings come in. That's tomorrow. But I've been, you know, exploring the city, going to sub faraway suburbs, which are like an hour and a half train right away just to buy, just, 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 just to see a bookstore and in the off chance that they have comic books because they sometimes do and being disappointed and then going around the city and funny story so there used to be another there used to be another comic book shop inside the sydney city like the central business just the business district um the cbd of sydney basically this this was like the old, oldest shop that's been running since like the 80s or what the 90s or whatever it's called comic kingdom and basically in like 2013 or 2014 they announced they were going to close because, like, they couldn't keep up with the times, essentially. Like, they, they, were, they, like, they really didn't like technology. Like, they, they didn't like the advent of digital comics. They didn't like... They just didn't like a lot of stuff with the modern era of comic books, apparently, from what I've gathered from, like, the news article I read. So, basically, I, I walk past that store every now and then. It's always closed. But apparently... They open, but they, they only open at like a really strange hour from like 11 a.m. until like 3 to 4 p.m., like 4.30 p.m., whenever the guy feels like closing. And basically, it's great because they've got a bunch of old books, which are kind of overpriced, which are actually really overpriced when you think about it. But they're all 70% off the sticker price, which makes them cheaper than normal price, like their actual value and also like worth buying with like Australian dollars. Also, a lot of their like just other raw books... A lot of them are just like two dollars, three dollars, whatever, and like they range from a variety of years. And um, I haven't had the time to actually like look through everything, uh, because I'm I'm just not well versed in stuff like X Men aside from like the iconic issues or like the issues worth anything like eighty seven or number one like the first couple of ones. Similar thing with Amazing Spider Man. Like I know like a hundred's worth. Of, like I I know like the key issues like a hundred and stuff. But I don't know, like, all the other random first appearances. So I just grabbed what I recognize. But, like, that store's going to be open for, like, another one or two months. And uh, if you're in the Sydney area, uh, I encourage you to go down there and, like, get, like, a steal of a deal. Because I'm going to go there and, like, raid them of all their, like, good books. They've got, like, a lot of really bad books. But they've also got, like, some kind of good stuff as well. So basically, I picked up Man of Steel 18. Uh, first full appearance of Doomsday. This was this is actually the third printing, so it's worth nothing essentially. It's not worth a lot, but um, with seventy percent off, this was dirt cheap, so I just picked it up. Uh, this was three dollars. Uh, this is okay, I guess. Where was Spider Man ninety nine? This is the first full appearance of Night Watch, which I think is this guy. Uh, the only problem with this book is there is a tear in the back here along Wolverine's arm. But this was a $3 book, and I'm fine with it. The front looks really nice. The back itself, aside from the actual tear, is fine. It's just that there's small creases along the top, as you can maybe make it out. You can see some of the markings. Uh, yeah, it was very weird when I bought the... Because um, the person at the store... Uh, he, there wasn't a computer in the store, because either like, they already took it out, because they were closing down or whatever. But the guy had like, a really old book where he just, where it has all the listed issues and like lists first appearance and stuff and he was looking, just trying to look through that and the guy was really old, he could like barely walk by himself and like, yeah it was very strange um, it, it just felt so outdated, like the whole store just felt so dated uh, got, so we got Web of Spider-Man 99, a cool cover that's all I can say about it, a uh, bit of yellowing pages uh, after that we got, okay, so I found these two, uh, in another rack, and I asked the guy how much for the Thor Annual 11, and he said two dollars, and I said sweet, and I bought both of them, uh, these, one of them is in terrible condition, as you can see from this one, the top is just completely destroyed, essentially, also like, the back is also very bad, like you can clean it, I guess, if you really want to, but like, and also, a lot of these older books, um, not this one actually, which is strange enough, but like in this one, the inside of the book is like really bad in some pages. 
And there's also like sometimes there'll be markings at the bottom, like two, like just like notches in the bottom, which I think is from like the delivery or whatever. But you can also see in the Spider Man, there's like these markings, so you can make them out. So basically, you pick these two up. I think this is the first appearance of the dwarf who appeared in Infinity War. Uh, also, you can see like this cover, like this is a pretty detached cover. Like, they're both just not perfect, but for $2, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'd buy these two. Like, I'm fine with these being, like, so destroyed, but for $2, it's still fine. Um, I think this is the first appearance of e or, like, one of his first appearances. So, yeah, it was cool. Got these two. These two annuals. Like, he also had just, like, boxes of, like, really strange stuff. He had a case of... Namor 37 the one which is like a, a foil cover um which I think he's had since the 90s in that store so a lot of the stuff is just like stuff which didn't sell because I think the store died because of its own poor business decisions he also had a lot of these uh, Green Lantern issue 2 by Jeff Johns uh, this is a 2005 run a great run cool cover that's the only reason I picked it up and then from a different store it was a bookstore uh went in uh bought these two books don't know why all new x-men issue one i hate this book so much this was this introduced to me my least favorite character in all the comic book history and that's bloody young Jean gray from all new x-men from earth trn 420 or whatever i just absolutely hated the storyline it had so much promise and then it just went downhill so quickly Gene was like a complete asshole, Iceman randomly turned gay, Beast went insane, Cyclops went to space, and then Angel became, Angel was like stupid. Um, yeah, and Bendis then left to write Superman before he could resolve half the stuff he did, so like Iceman's now just randomly gay, and he had like a terrible ongoing series, a terrible like solo book, which got cancelled, because it was not very good. And yeah, Cyclops is now dead. Beast is some magic dude now. Uh, and I think young Jean Grey just died. Oh, she turned into a venom. She turned into like a poison thing. There was a venom crossover with X Men Blue. I don't know. The cover itself looks really cool. If you just think of them as like the original X Men from the 60s and not the ones which got brought back into our current continuity and like screwed everything up for the X Men. But yeah, cool cover. Um. I don't know, I just, feel, I just feel so burned by this. Because I, I, I remember buying the trades for this book. And because I really wanted to get into X-Men. Because I love X-Men. And then I bought the trades and it seemed so interesting. And then like, it just went downhill so quickly. And I was like, I just, I just couldn't feel justified to buy it anymore. And I just felt, felt like such a waste of time just trying to follow this book monthly. And I also got Wolverine Volume 3, I think. Uh, I should want Scotty Young variant. It's a, cool, it's a cute cover. I have this Cyclops. I uh, got a Snow Sentinel, I guess. But yeah. Uh, definitely going to go back to that store uh, in Sydney, inside the city. It's very easy to get to as well if you want to get there. It's it's very close to a train to two train stations, actually. And um, the guy behind the counter is very annoying. He, he seems very just like... He seems very done. He seems like he's about to retire and like collect his pension. But uh, yeah, like he's just, there's just so many books in there. Like there's just so much back, like backlog. It's not even like good backlog. He's got so many just books that no one wants. Like I was looking through his New 52 stuff, the DC stuff, which was mainly New 52 stuff. And like the only book which he didn't have was Batman. And that was like the one book I actually wanted to buy copies of. And he had like 50 books of Batwoman. And it was just such a, it was such a letdown in terms of like the DC stuff, but he's got like a, a ton of Marvel stuff. Like he's got so much Marvel stuff and he's got a lot of like the older Batman stuff, um, like Shadow of the Bat, which was actually a pretty good series and Legends of the Dark Knight. But yeah, uh, these were the notable pickups. Um, there are some other copies, other books that I kind of look forward to. There's the Batman 619 Newsstand Edition, so it has a red wash over it. He's got some more of these. I'm not sure if they're third print or not. They probably are. And he's got... Uh, a variety of just, like, other books. But also... I have secured a deal... Very recently. There was a dude in the Facebook group... 
this like the Australian comics Facebook group, and he basically was selling random books from like the seventies all the way to the two thousands for like five to ten dollars each. And he was a new member to the group because Facebook tells you that now, and it was his first post. Basically, he got bombarded straight away. Like I was third in line. The first guy wanted like some astonishing tales, which was fine. But the guy also had like two seventies Daredevil books, which were like first both had like first appearances, and also X Men eighty seven, which were the ones I really wanted. But the guy in front of like the guy in front of me in the the comment chain, he took it. So I ended up with. So now I'm buying the rest of it, and but like plus side, he had a bunch of books that he didn't take photos of yet, and he didn't like put them up. But I bought. I was. I told him I'll buy them anyway. So I've got so like. Among them, notably, there were. There was a copy of X Men three hundred signed by John Romita Junior for some reason. Um, a couple of Marvel team ups, another Astonishing Tales, and an Iron Man book, and also. The one I'm most excited about, which was Superman Adventures number five, the first appearance of Livewire in comic books. And yeah, I kind of was forced to buy them a lot because I didn't want them looking at prices individually. But yeah, enough of that. This was this whole um, really cool stuff. Uh, if you're in Australia, or in Sydney at least, or New South Wales, and you've got like a bunch of there's like loose cash lying around, just definitely go there and raid all this stuff. And yeah, um, until next time, this is really doing dial.